The next step that we'll demonstrate is creating a barrier across our project in order to dam up the water and then later that will force it to flow through the culvert. We'll create this barrier using a two-flow ridge line. To create the ridge line, we'll go up to our CAD toolbar, type in TF and then control D for display and we'll select the two-flow Z ridge. Once again, this fills in the CAD bar for us. This barrier I'd like to create at approximately elevation 89.5. So you can see it's just a bit above the bottom here. And we can put an elevation on that by coming up here where it says Z and typing in 89.5. The tool that I'm going to use to create this string is a CAD line. It only needs to have two points on it, so I'm going to choose the two points. I do want to make sure that I go through the, let's maximize this to make it easier to see. I do want to make sure that I go through the culvert and I go from one edge of the project to the other. For this line, the direction doesn't matter. So I'll select one side of the project and go approximately perpendicular across the project to the other side and accept that. So we now have this barrier. To put the barrier into the road flow model, I can go and take a copy of that model name and we'll just put that down below here. Alternatively, I could have picked it off the model icon. So now we have that specified. We're ready to hit the run button. Two flow is going to run again, only this time it's going to include a barrier. Now we have not attached the culvert yet, so the water will not flow through the culvert, but rather if there's enough rainfall, it will overtop the barrier. Now, TwoFlow will take a moment to run, so we'll pause this presentation and then come back, read in the results, and view them.